they were caught and Heather Mack went to jail. They were, she and the boyfriend were both tried. Heather got 10 years in a Indonesian prison and her boyfriend, Tommy Schaefer, got 18 years because he carried out the bashing. Um, and he's still in jail. But you know what happened about a year and a half ago in November uh, 2021? Heather got out and came back to the United States where she was met at the airport by the feds who arrested her and said, you're going down for that crime here too. This is where I was like, wait, what about double jeopardy? Which is why I needed to bring in for this exclusive interview, Michael Leonard. He is the attorney for Heather Mack and he joins me now live. Uh, Mr. Leonard, thank you so much for being on the program. Can you answer that simple question for me, how she served a sentence, it was 10 years, she did seven of it, got out, all fair, under the Indonesian authorities, flew home and promptly was arrested and thrown back in jail. How is it not double jeopardy? Well, unfortunately in our system, they don't recognize another sovereign's uh, jurisdiction. So there's no jeopardy that attaches to somebody else's, another country's uh, criminal conviction of a defendant. So therefore it's as, if it, it's as if it never happened. You know, the, the ramifications of the case can always be felt in terms of a, a resolution or a sentencing, because of course the sentencing judge could take into account the time the individual served in the other country. But there's no bar uh, to the so, prosecution. Yeah, tell me that because, you know, she served seven there. I think by math, she's done about a year and a half here. Uh, she had a daughter while in prison in Indonesia, and that daughter is now here. And I'm just sort of wondering, does any of that factor in, the fact that she's already been through a process, served time, like, what will it mean for your process? And as I understand it, toss in the fact that there may be a, a plea here that she'll make. Yeah, we, we certainly hope that the judge here in Chicago and federal court will take into account the serious amount of time that she already served in Bali and the conditions under which she served it, as well as the time that she's put in here in the Chicago MCC, uh, particularly the fact that she's been incarcerated during you know, a, a lot of that was during the COVID times, which was kind of virtual lockdown conditions. So those are all things that the trial judge here can consider in fashioning a sentence. So the boyfriend, Tommy Schaefer, got 18 years. Um, I'm just going to do some crazy math in my head, which is never a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. He, maybe he'll get out in around 14 or 15 years. Um, Presumably, he'll want to be in the U.S. at some point. Is he going to face the exact same music that, that Heather is facing now, meaning he'll be arrested at the airport and he'll have to serve a murder? Um, you know, he'll have to go through a murder trial here in the U.S. Well, that'll be interesting. I mean, part of it is the U.S. government, the federal prosecutors kind of cherry picking the case. I think the claim against Heather was a little bit more sensational, being the daughter, a little bit more unusual. He got a higher sentence, which he's still serving and will serve for quite some time. So there'll be there'll be a balancing test whether they, you know, in the U.S. government's mind, whether that's enough time or not. Um, you would think they'd still want to tack on some more in light of how they approached the Mac case. But he is also charged in the Heather Mac case. They're both co-defendants. Obviously, the case against him will not proceed until he's released. What is the most you're, or the best, I guess, you're hoping for, um, Mr. Leonard, when it comes to offering a plea, your, your client Heather offering a plea? Like, how much time do you think she's going to serve here in the U.S. for this? Well, I don't really want to get into details too much of that. Obviously, our position would be that she served a substantial amount of time already. Um, we think that's uh, more than enough already. We'll be making that argument to the court. Um, certainly, we anticipate that the court may take the position that it's possible she might have to do additional time here. But our goal, of course, would be to limit that under the 3553 factors that a federal court judge will typically consider. I mean, it's um, two counts of conspiracy to commit murder in a foreign country, one count of obstruction of justice, serious stuff. Uh, I'll be fascinated to see how this shakes out. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.